I've just uh, received some uh, messages from people regarding uh, a certain somebody from Billings, Montana. His name is Andrew Bird. You know him as uh, uh, my little pony, a Gen 5 hater, extremist, uh, and uh, ally of uh, Harrison White from uh, Clockton on Sea, England. Uh, they both uh, hate my little pony, Gen 5, but they actually secretly like it and uh, they hate to admit it. So, uh, Xander Bird, he has uh, made uh, re repeated uh, multiple threats to uh, attack the Hasbro Studios, Canada, and and recently, uh, he said uh, USA should have just an taken over uh, Canada. Yet, of course, uh, some of uh, some of the Canadians over here, yeah, had to remind him that USA has not won against uh, Canada physically. Ever since the War of 1812, where uh, USA, uh, they burned down to York, which is present-day Toronto. Toronto is one of the biggest uh, cities uh, in Canada. And then, though, of course, uh, Canada, back when they were like the uh, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and the, ter the three territories, uh, New Brunswick and uh, uh, Nova Scotia, they were not really a uh, part of uh, Canada, but uh, yeah, it was just. Uh, Ontario, Quebec, and uh, then British Columbia and the natives. And then, yeah, the USA never physically tried to take over uh, Canada, nor will they ever try to. But uh, ever since uh, Xander Bird uh, had uh, made a post uh, thing, uh, USA should take over Canada. And then he literally made some uh, threatening uh, comments on that. Uh, Which some people have shared it, and uh, it's uh, and uh, what uh, what Sander Bird does not know why he the, the mistake he is making right right now is uh, that the police can uh, monitor his uh, act, uh, actions online, uh, making threats about somebody, uh, even uh phrase threats, which, let me tell you about a man in Mississauga, Ontario, so, some white guy, though, so, uh, it was, uh, last year, he was, uh, making threats toward the Muslim, uh, community in Mississauga, Ontario. Yeah, Mississauga, Ontario, where the Hasbro Studio Canada is. Uh, but uh, apparently he was like uh, targeting uh, Muslim uh, people and uh, he was also making threats online and even he even had a Facebook page uh, on his own Facebook page. He was also uh, talking very negative towards uh, these Muslim people. So, uh, so the police, uh, Ontario Provincial Police, and, uh, yeah, 
MPO Regional Police, they uh, gained access to, um, they uh, looked at uh, this person's uh, Facebook and his pages, uh, everything he uploaded regarding the Muslim people. And and also, uh, not just not just on online, but he has actually made up. He has had uh, known for uh, basically um, making verbal uh, threats towards Muslim people in the uh, the community in uh, Mississauga. So, uh, so that guy he ended up uh, yeah being uh, charged and uh, for making these threats uh, to at people. So he got charged. But he also was uh, was uh, he also got discharged to uh, stay a certain distance from every single mosque in the area for uh, you know, every single Muslim mosque he was to stay away from uh, that, those uh, places uh, because of course uh, if you were to attack those uh, Muslim uh, mosques uh, of course uh, you would get in trouble so yeah. He tried to do that in any place in Ontario where there is like a Muslim uh, mosque. Yeah, he can get in trouble and he can get locked up. And then since he's uh, also making these kind of threats, uh, and regarding Canada. And then someone just mentioned uh, uh, Justin Trudeau, uh, and just to pr prove these people uh, about uh, Justin Trudeau, uh, Justin Trudeau cannot see what uh, like uh, these kind of like threat posts. But there's a certain spy agency called CSIS, the equivalent of CIA. And what is the CSIS? Yeah. The CSIS, the Can Canadian Security Intelligence Services, uh, they're in charge for uh, collecting, analyzing, reporting, and dis disseminating uh, Intelligent on threats to Canada's national security and c conducting operations covered and overt with uh, within Canada and abroad. So yeah, they yeah, and especially with all like the yeah anything b bad uh, threats uh, in uh, Canada that happen or uh, with partner partnerships uh, with Canada and other countries that uh, uh, any that maybe. Anything threatening, yeah, they can step in and do something about it. And uh, to also point this out, uh, they also have partnered, they can also work, work with uh, CIA, MI6, K KGB, and other international uh, Mossad and also other uh, national countries. Uh, Security Intelligence Services. And also uh, local. So basically they can work with local, provincial or state, and federal groups uh, that are like uh, to do justice of any kind. So this means, uh, and by the way, the Canadian government uh, uh, has, uh, though Justin Trudeau does not have a control over these uh, people because this, so they do their own thing. I mean, even uh, Justin Trudeau has admitted that uh, whatever the police uh, does, uh, especially with the regarding the recent uh, Ottawa truck rally in February and March when uh, shit was going crazy. So whatever the Ottawa police was were doing and also 
and also the Royal Canadian Mountain Police, uh, it was up to them on how many arrests and uh, what charges they were doing. It was not up to him because, yeah, that's not his job. And uh, of course, uh, Justin Trudeau does not have control over CSIS. And uh, so basically, just about anyone who uh, makes uh, threats about uh, just about uh, anything, uh, about any against any group of people or in a certain place or yeah, the local. Police the regional or uh, the prov provincial state uh, police and even the federal uh, the, the federal investigation uh, in, uh, in this case uh, over since uh, Sander Bird lives in uh, Billings, Montana, so the, the local uh, police are there, and uh, also uh, Montana State uh, Police can do something about it, and also uh, at the FBI and CIA can do something about it, because the CSIS can tip them off. CSIS can tell FBI and C CIA. They can tell that the local police over in on Montana and uh, Dander Bird's uh, social media post, well, Facebook post can be monitored, and that could uh, something could be done about that. Exactly, just like that, Mississauga. Man who uh, made the uh, threats, physical, verbal, and cyber threats towards the Muslim community in uh, Mississauga, and got what he deserved. And uh, by the way, the, ever since the Ottawa truck rally, uh, which also included a uh, illegal funding towards the people who started that fundraiser to to support the illegal demonstrators in Ottawa, and we even the. Uh, Former uh, USA President uh, Donald Trump actually supports these people. So even the Russian uh, people were like funding these people, and uh, some a lot of woke Canadians uh, were uh, actually supporting these uh, people. And um, and uh, unfortunately for them, uh, GoFundMe and Gifts and Go they actually uh, shut these people down, get return, uh, seized their bank accounts, which that was uh, you know. The bank's jobs and also, uh, you yeah. And all the money was returned to the people who sent it or they was donated to your charities. So yeah, the police can have, uh, gain access to your social media accounts. And if you make like a threats to like uh, your uh, a local or provincial state or maybe a uh, national, yeah, the secret intelligence services can actually do something about it. So you know you don't know who could be watching. Possibly uh, CSIS, FBI, and CIA. Are. Watch what you post.